Welcome to the forge, my wanton wildlings. I'm your creepsmith, and I hope you like my work. The transition between states of wakefulness and sleep is a home for the imaginative and the horrific. We view it as akin to the interstice between life and death, and indeed some view it as a hop or skip down that same road. Our protagonists this evening will find themselves cast down that road unwillingly in tonight's terrible tale, A Knock at the Window. Written by someone taken before her time, Emma Fro, contributor to Chilling Tales for Dark Nights. I lay in my bed, restless and alone on a dark and silent night. I toss and turn, trying to find a comfortable spot, but I feel uneasy. Something about tonight just doesn't feel right, and I toss and turn and finally, finally find a comfortable position. I close my eyes, but it doesn't make a difference. It's too dark in my room to see a thing anyways. I guess it takes time for my eyes to adjust to the darkness. I lay there, still silent, on a dark and dank night. My body's relaxed, my mind is blank, and I'm ready for some much-needed rest. But instantly the silence is shattered and my mind fills with fearful thoughts as my startled eyes flash open. Knock, knock. It's almost undoubtedly the sound of a fist on glass. But no, it, it couldn't be. What would someone's motivation be to wake someone alone in their home? Think logically. If someone wanted to break in, why would they warn me with a knock? They'd just break in. Uh, they'd, they'd make a loud and obvious noise, or try to be as silent as possible. Why would they knock? Monsters don't exist. I could give myself some peace of mind and simply look out the window. But I'm facing the other way, and I'm too timid to turn my head, afraid of finding my greatest fears standing outside my window. What could it be, though? I, maybe a couple of birds? No, that's too unrealistic. Could a group of kids be running around late at night, knocking on windows to get a few laughs? Possibly. Come to think of it, maybe it was my imagination. Maybe I heard the usual creak in the house, and my paranoid mind has mistaken it for a knock. Knock, knock. No, that definitely wasn't my imagination. Those damn kids are persistent. They don't want to quit until they get that reaction. <laughs> Maybe some sick twisted freak is standing outside waiting for me to look so he can smash through and attack me. No. No, don't think that. Don't get paranoid. Besides, if he's there, he's outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Monsters don't exist. Besides, I haven't moved yet. Hopefully those kids will think I'm a heavy sleeper and, and leave me alone. Knock, knock. No. It can't be kids. No kid would wait around for this long just to get a reaction from one lonely guy. They'd just get bored and move along. What could it be? And why would a serial killer target me of all people? Think logically. Monsters don't exist. Don't get paranoid. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. But if it's not a monster or some sort of killer, what could it be? Just pretend to be asleep and maybe they'll go away. Knock, knock. Oh, God. I, I, I can't think of a noise I hate more than that persistent knock. Please, go away. Just leave me alone and let me be. There's no hope. It's gonna get in here and do sick and horrible things to me. Inhale. Take deep breaths. 
I can feel my heart pound out of my chest. Just, just relax. Monsters don't exist. Remember, they're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Repeat that. Don't let your fear get the best of you. Just pretend to be asleep. Don't move a muscle. Knock, knock. They're outside, I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Monsters don't exist. Just pretend to be asleep and pray it'll go away. Knock, knock. They're outside, I'm inside. Until I hear a shadow, I know I'm safe. Frightful tears begin to drip down my face. Monsters don't exist. Monsters do not exist. I begin to whisper it to myself. They're outside, I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. They're outside, I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Knock, knock. I can't take it anymore. I'm gonna go mad listening to these knocks. At least if I see what it is, I'll have peace of mind. Take a deep breath and repeat to myself just one more time. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. I take a few more breaths, my heart pounding as hard as it's ever pounded at a mile a minute, and I slowly turn my head to face the window. My heart sinks into my chest and I'm too afraid to scream or move. I turned my head to find a pale figure with beady black eyes staring through me and into my soul as a horrid grin creeps across its face. It was standing inside the whole time, knocking on my window. Perhaps when you were younger, your parents told you not to assume that it makes an ass of you and me. Cheesy as that is, it's somewhat true. But what they may not have told you is that at some point, your life may be contingent on that practice. Well, we hope not, but you never can tell, can you? Stay scary, my wildlings. Don't be afraid to look and make the most of your nights.